Okay, so drugstore lipsticks. I don't know why I thought I had way more, but this is what we have. Um, although I should just say, I guess I tend, because I used to do the blog sale, I stopped doing it last year. I'll probably revisit it again later this year. Like, But I think, I just thought I had way more drugstore lip products. Maybe I have more glosses, but okay, this is the lipstick, so we're just going to start. Okay, first up, Revlon. This is the, this is the only kind of, yeah, I think this is the only kind of Revlon I have, or then the like classic black bullets. So here are swatches. I know there's four lipsticks there, but I didn't realize these two, <laughs> these two are the same. So this one is Honey Bear, and this is the swatch for it. It's a very beautiful nude. I'll probably just keep this one. This one's like newer. And this one I've, it's clearly an older one because like look, so, so little left. This one is Brazilian Tan. I love this. I think they made it permanent. I think it came out with a collection, but I love this shade so much. So this is being kept. I might even have a backup of this. Like I wouldn't be surprised. And lastly is this shade and it's called Copper Glow Berry. It actually has a bit of a metallic finish, so it looks good far away, but up close I don't like the way it looks on my lips, so we'll declutter this one. Okay, these are the L'Oreal Color Shine Balms swatches. So, this is my favorite one. This is a glossy fawn. I talked about this in my eBay video when I talked about just because there's a great L'Oreal eBay store where there's always a promotion. But this is my favorite shade, Like, and I find that the formula is just better, so I always wear this one and I don't reach for the other ones. This is a lighter one called Shining Peach and it's just very, very pink. Do you see? Also, I feel like it's not as smooth. Like you can see more lineage and it's not as opaque. And the last one is Luminous Coral. I don't know, so the formula I think is pretty good, but for whatever reason when I apply this, the tone is like Sometimes it leans too orange and sometimes it leans too pink, but always in a way that looks really bad on me. It also doesn't hide like, um, not that I have any peelies on my lips, but if I have like a drier area, I feel like you can see it up close. So I'm just, I don't know. So basically we're just going to keep glossy fun. Okay, so these are Maybelline lipsticks and Obsessed. Um, I love them. Okay, so let's start off with this one is Scarlet Flame. Super beautiful, just classic red uh, keeping. This is Baddest Beige, and at first I was like, I didn't want to pick it up because it was too light, but these are all lipsticks that I apply, and I tap them into the lips with my fingers. You can apply them straight up, but I... You know, back in the day when I used to always apply lipsticks for you guys, like even in the vlogs, like I am a lip tapper, so I very rarely just swipe things on, um, even glosses. So, but this with this shade right here, I'll show it to you in a little bit. This with that and any kind of other kinds of lipsticks, it just gives you this really beautiful dimension if you just tap it in the center. So that's why I have this in my collection, love it. Okay, so this is a rousing orange super awkward name uh, also this is one I found on Amazon I didn't see it in drugstores but I love oranges so I haven't worn it yet but I'm <laughs> summer is here so we're gonna give it a go just the formula of these are so nice and glossy this is taupe seductress it's actually just kind of this mid-tone purple and a little bit of mauve like just really pretty I like love it especially for winter times this is my absolute favorite this is chocolate lust let me show you, like clearly super fave. This is just like top favorite lipstick formula color. I will apply it in the morning, I love it. It doesn't do anything weird with my lips. As the day goes on, it looks beautiful. I can reapply. It looks very warm on me and I love it. Like here it's looking a little cool and brown. This is like more accurate as a swatch, but on my lips because I'm like warm tone, it goes like I don't want to say orange, but it does lean like warm brown orange-ish. I don't know. I've worn it many times, but super fave. And last but not least is Pink Fetish. This is another one I pulled in for summer because if I were to kind of wear that, 
I want to have this in the center to give it a little more pop or in general for it to just tap on and look like, oh, sorry, am I focusing? Sorry, sorry, sorry. And then I could tap in as a stain. Even right now, it kind of looks like that popsicle lip type color. So it is one of my favorite formulas of life. Okay, so this is from Catrice and it's their Dark Lip Glow. And it's one of those products that kind of you apply and then they'll change color. So this one looks very dark. They have lighter ones, but I think that the lighter ones were going to go kind of pink and I wasn't into that. So that's a swatch of this. I like this. It ends up looking quite bright on me. We can watch it develop later, but I'm keeping this. Next up is the Essence Instacare. This is in the shade Shady Sunrise. Sandy. <laughs> Shady Sunrise. Sandy Sunrise. I love this. I No one talks about this product. It's so good. It feels like a lip balm. Okay, see that has developed now. You see, it's like really pretty. Like literally the same thing as like the Givenchy one that does the same thing. So I love this. So pretty. Super love. And I don't know if you've noticed, most of the colors I wear are like generally nudes. This is a ColourPop blotted lip in Candy Floss. I like like this, but then I don't like it. I don't know. Like it doesn't go as smooth as I want it and it doesn't, I don't know, like layer. I mean, it looks perfectly fine when I tap it into my lips, but I'm just like, as I'm swatching these on my hand, I can just feel the difference. Like it's not as smooth. So I, mean, I don't know. I like to clutter this. Okay, so this is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Tan Lines, and I don't know, I haven't worn this in a while. Do I like it? That's really pretty and luminous and brown. Maybe I keep, or I don't know. It's like, I feel like I really like this, but then it goes a little too cool toned on me. Okay, we'll declutter. This is, this is an All May Lip Vibe in Never Regret. And at first I was like, oh, it's like a matte tone, but not tone, matte finish, but it's like not matte. Like it looks, it's kind of a, I like it because it has kind of a brownie yellow base to it. And I obsess over colors like this. Like there's something, there's a gloss from Shiseido that I, ad okay, we'll see that in the lip glosses. Okay, but I'm keeping this. It's like really pretty. Milani, this is in the shade Bahama Beige. I love the way Milani lipsticks smell. They kind of have like, kind of smell watermelon-y. Melamy. I was trying to say watermelon and yummy at the same time. Okay, so this is Bahama Beige, right? Yes, I love this keeping. I wish, okay, I love gold packaging as much as people can love gold packaging. I just feel like maybe it's like the wrong tone of gold. It's just a little, you know, I don't know. This is drugstore lipsticks. We have decluttered six lipsticks and we're keeping this many. That's not bad. It's pretty good. Moving on. 